Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Teacher J. For today's video, ay mag-aaral muna tayo. Last time, ay nagbigay ako sa inyo ng mga tips kung paano nyo mamememorize ang multiplication table in just one week. Kung hindi mo yun napanood, nilagay ko po ang link sa baba para panood nyo. Remember that memorizing multiplication table will help you learn math easily. In this video, makikita ninyo yung ginamit kong PowerPoint slides na ginawa ko as video. Kung papaano yon at hindi mo pa yun napapanood, panoorin mo ang link na nasa baba sa description box. So, bago ang lahat, huwag po muna kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell for more upcoming videos, math tutorials, uh, educational vlog, at iba pa. So guys, ready nyo na ang papel at bolpe nyo. Tara, aral na. Familiar ba kayo dito? Nakita nyo yan sa Facebook nyo. Isa ka ba sa mga na-challenge nyo? Nakaba sa mga sumakit ang ulo at hindi mo makuha kung ano ang tamang sagot? Well, for today, pag-aaralan natin ang isa sa pinakamahalagang konsepto ng mathematics. Order of operation is a math rules that tells you which basic operations to do first. Bakit po kailangan ng rules? Pwede ko po ba silang isolve the way I want? Very good question! I have a sample problem here to be solved by two different persons. Ang sagot ng isa ay 32, wherein he added 2 plus 6 is 8 times 4 equals 32. And the other one answered 26, wherein he multiplied first 6 times 4 and then added by 2. That's why he get 26. Which do you think is correct? Sino kaya sa kanilang dalawa ang mas tama? Diyan nagiging komplikado ang mathematics. Iisa ang problema, pero bakit may dalawang sagot? And that where order of operations comes out. If we follow order, then we will come up with the same answer. If we follow the same order, we come up with the same answer. So pag sinabing bawal lumabas, huwag kang So, order of operation. First is parentheses and brackets. Next, exponents. Then, multiplication and division. Last, addition and subtraction. Ito yung tinuro sa atin na PEMDAS rule. So, first, we simplify expressions that are inside parentheses or brackets. So, those are the symbols we used for parentheses or a bracket. We use parentheses or brackets to group things together. In order of operations, parentheses and brackets tells us that we need to solve first the expressions that are inside the parentheses before we do another operations. Example, I have here uh, three numbers two operations so what is inside the parentheses 3 plus 4 is 7 and then multiply it by 5 equals 35 another example 4 minus 3 plus 7 times 2 so we do first 4 minus 3 and then 7 times 2 equals 14 1 plus 14 equals 15 so remember do first what is inside the parentheses before we do that is not in the parentheses.
So we do first what is inside the parentheses and brackets. And then next, we simplify expressions that have exponents. So what is an exponent? Exponent is a repeated multiplication. This is the small number at the upper right hand of a number that tells you how many times you're going to multiply the base by itself. So in this case, 5 is the exponent and 2 is the base. So example, we have parentheses and exponent here. So we simplify what is inside the parentheses. So 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. And then 8 times 6 is 48. Added by 4, we got 52. So dahil nasa loob yung exponent ng parentheses, sinimplify muna natin what is inside the parentheses. So, third is multiplication and division, and last is addition and subtraction. Meaning, we multiply and divide first before we add and subtract. So, example, ito yung kaninang example natin. So, tingnan natin sino yung tama. So, we multiply first 6 times 4, which is 24, and then plus 2, we got 26. So, another example, 5 times 3 minus 4. So, we multiply 5 times 3, we got 15, and then minus by 4 is 11. Next example, 12 minus 6 divided by 3, we divide 6 divided by 3, we got 2, and then 12 minus 2 equals 10. And another example, if we have 10 divided by 2 plus 9, 10 divided by 2 is 5, added by 9, we got 14. Remember, we multiply and divide first before we add and subtract. So, what if we have both division and multiplication? So, in this case, we are going to solve them from left to right. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4 multiplied by 10 is 40. So, ganun din kapag parehas na addition and subtraction ng operations. So, we solve them from left to right. So, 10 minus 6 is 4 plus 7, 11 minus 2 is 9. If the operations are tied up, perform the operation from left to right. Call natin. So, order of operation. First, we simplify expressions that are inside the parentheses or a bracket. Next, we simplify expressions that has exponents and multiply and divide before we add and subtract. Parehas ang operations natin na multiplication and division at addition at subtraction. We solve the expressions from left to right. Solve tayo. Thank you.